Hello, wanted to give you a walkthrough of this Streamlit app here that we've been using in lab for processing images. So the way that this works is we can select a source um, for whether it comes from the camera or an uploaded image or the stored image. Uh, so I'm just going to drop in a, um, an example image here. Um, so I can drop in the uh, uh, uploaded image and then we can flip it or brighten it or whatever. Um, so how does this thing work? Um, so over here, we first import all of our um, Streamlit stuff. I don't even know if we needed to do this here, import our image processing library that we worked on. First thing here, this sets up the page layout. So it gets a, a title and wide layout. If we don't have this, um, then I'm going to rerun the source here. Um, then it works fine when it's narrow, but if it's wide, actually, I think you need to reload. Um, and then um, it just doesn't use up the whole width of the page. Um, so that's uh, this wide layout here, um, and the title just makes it take the, um, take the area a little better. Um, now we make a two-column layout. So we just say left column and right column equals two columns. So this is just returns a list of columns, and this is a way of um, destructuring a list. So we can assign the first element of the list to left column, second element of the list to right column, and done. Um, now, well, we'll come back to this function later. Um, we talk about storing images. Um, but first, we define what's going on in the left column. So this with statement helps us um, or says that everything under here, everything indented inside here, is going to go on the left column. So whenever we say a header or a radio, that goes on the left column instead of being you know, at the bottom or something. Um, so we ask for a source, um, give it a couple options. If we get a camera, then we use a camera input, file uploader, um, file upload input. Um, I'll talk more about this stored source later. Then the right column as a header for the processed image. Um, all of this stuff only works if we actually have a source image. And when these things first run, the camera input or file uploader just returns none. It doesn't return anything. Um, so that source image will get none the first time. We could do a not equals none here, um, and that would be perfectly fine. But canonically, um, if you're comparing with none, um, this is how people write that in Python. Um, details, um, you can Google for that. Uh, so um, this is just details of how we can load the, the source image um, of the file that was uploaded. Uh, command, um, just like before. So let me upload that so you can, I'll put an image in here so you can see that example here again. Um, and um, yeah, so these are the operations here. Um, and then we have just a if, elif, or which, um, which operation to do. Notice that inside of certain commands, we could go and add another number input. Um, you know, I didn't go ahead and do everything. I'm just showing how you could ask for how much to brighten here. So this doesn't actually do anything right now, but this is demonstrating the user interface side. We could, we'd probably want to pass that amount to a change brightness function here. Um, but either way, um, any one of these, whichever command we do, we run image processing dot whatever that command is, um, and assign the result to processed, just the, a name for the processed image. Um, and uh, do a little checking to make sure that um, the process is valid. Um, and then we can show the image, um, convert it back into a Python imaging library image. That's the kind of thing that Streamlit image function knows how to show. Uh, so the last thing here is this use this image button. And we say this button has an on click. When it's clicked, we set the image to the processed image. Inside the function, it uses, it takes the source and puts it on the session state, um, which is a set of basically a dictionary that gets kept throughout every reload of the page. Remember that whenever you change something on the page like this, it reruns the entire thing. And normally, all the variables would be cleared except the ones that are sta saved in the session state. 